have a nice and interesting case uh, of a 2009 Buell 1125 CR. Um, the bike was uh, running okay, came in for service uh, the valves and uh, for the valve check and uh, for replacing the starter. Um, and uh, we hadn't it running, um, but uh, as we uh, on all full service also check the injectors on the test bench, we were kind of surprised to find uh, find that on this uh, on this bike. Look at that. Another clocked injector using I saw two, and uh, it is not. Um, you you see now some some videos uh, uh, where we test uh, this uh, injectors regarding the fuel level, and also we uh, test them on different speed. Uh, you will see idle speed, medium speed, and high speed. And um, it is it is really interesting to to see that because this is not a clocked injector. This is not this classic what we have each start of the season that the bikes coming in that they are running bad. Um, uh, uh, unfortunately, we have not seen this bike running because it had a long story of uh, failing uh, alternator um, battery problems. And um, I would I would have loved to have this bike here um, and and see how it behaves because um, we have the very very clear picture that it could run only on one cylinder with that what we um, have found here yeah have a look on that. What we see now is that the left injector works. Um, we see that uh, it uh, have less volume than the other one, but uh, it works. So all is fine. Let's put it back to the bike. Of course not, because uh, there is something still wrong, uh, because we have seen earlier that uh, there was coming nothing out. So that could be just a clocked injector and only need to run a little bit and need to clean it up. Um, uh, uh, but in this case, this is not uh, the problem. In this case, we have an electrical failure. Um, you need to understand this uh, um, test stand works always uh, with uh, adjusted pressure. You can adjust the pressure, but uh, then under the test, it does not modulate the pressure, uh, not on uh, in this particular test now. Um, it just uh, uh, change the number of impulses. And uh, this injector now is um, not reacting on idle speed and it not even react on medium speed. Um, so um, in the bike, we would see now that the bike would uh, run um, on idle on one cylinder and then start to pick up somewhere, maybe in the middle or in the upper uh, 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 in the upper RPM range and then under full throttle it would might run good and it would uh, throw out uh, of course lambda uh, error and all these other things and um, the this is really really a failure um, what you have not so often we had that before but um, on a yeah, not high mileage. I think this bike have uh, 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 around uh, 20,000 kilometer. Um, uh, and it's not an abused bike. The bike is otherwise in top condition. Uh, question could be now if maybe a damaged voltage regulator 
was uh, uh, on the bike because the watch regulator was also broken and maybe there was some overpower, I don't know. <coughs> I'm not an injector specialist. Um, how this little spool inside um, can get uh, damaged. But um, uh, uh, what we can say that this injector, the left one uh, in the video, is uh, not reacting on small impulses. Um, uh, uh, it need to have high impulse and then it works. Otherwise, it just don't um, react, react electrical. Uh, it just don't open with uh, 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 the normal little impulses. And then when the uh, numbers of impulses are rising up, and then it starts uh, working. Here's another last video. Have a look on that. So now we have um, replaced the left fuel injector and then we run a quick uh, test. Look how the spray coil is looking under different uh, speeds on uh, medium speed, high speed, it all looks good. That's all okay. Also when, it's, when the RPM is going down again. Good. So we drain and then we check um, how um, it levels and there um, we check um, on uh, medium uh, speed. Let's see that it is really empty and then we check. Let's see. They're never completely equal, but so this is now um, fuel level medium speed test, and you can see already that it's um, nice and equal. Yeah. So now you learned a little bit about um, don't trust. Um, what you think, what could be the problem. Uh, first of all, if you have fuel issues and it's not a fuel pump, uh, fuel pressure problem, check your injectors, uh, send them uh, to somebody who can check them. And you also understand now that the, um, the, the, the test on the bike with a, uh, let them spray in a tin, not always must root to the right result. That uh, means if you see there fuel on coming out of the injector, it does not mean that under all um, speeds from idle over medium to um, top speed of the injectors, they work. This one injector was definitely not working under low and medium speed. It was only working on high speed. And that is a problem without the proper diagnostics, what can really, really uh, uh, make you uh, crazy, I think. So um, we do this testing, we offer the cleaning and also Chess Argard uh, from uh, AMF offer that and uh, uh, many others. So just make sure your fuel injectors are good and uh, you spare a lot of trouble. Stay safe, take care, bye.